I am so excited about the new Freddy the Frog apps. Um, this little video clip will be about the games. The easiest in the first game is the Thump in the Night game. Now for every game that teaches note names, it has a matching game. It works like this. When you look at these cards as an adult, it looks too easy. It looks, well, like, hey, I can see where the pairs are. Where's the mystery in this? But to a child, most kids look at that and they all look the same. By playing this game, it forces them to notice where the note is located. And they figure it out on their own, which makes it stick even longer and better. And all they have to do is just tap on it. If it's a correct match, it would have disappeared. But if it was wrong, like I just did, then it will flip back around and they get to try again. The challenge is to see the quickest amount of time that they can ma make all of their matches. 47 seconds. You could have a whole lab of kids doing this at the same time and they just record what their time was. There's another game for the base cleft monster. It works identically to that game, except now we have nine pairs of base cleft notes. Secret of Crater Island are the other six treble clef notes. And if you want to combine both sets of treble clef notes so that you have a total of 12 pairs, just click on treble clef. And now we have the 12 pairs. Every time you exit and you begin again, the cards will be in different places. So there's no way to memorize where those pairs are at. Now, if you want the ultimate challenge for treble clef and bass clef, these are mixed up. Every time you start a new game, it pulls a new random pairs of um, treble clef and bass clef. So this is great. Let's say that you have a very beginning student. They could be doing the treble clef note name game on Thump in the Night, and you could have your piano student be doing the treble and bass clef challenge, which would be wonderful. As a class, you could even... Um, if you're using one iPad projected in the front of the room, then when you point to a certain note, you will not touch it to make it flip over until the class can name what that note is. Then go ahead and build the pairs. So that's a way to advance that challenge. The Temple Island game is great for many things, review or assessment or just for fun. And there's many ways to use it. If you use it just like this without sound, you could say a rhythm or clap a rhythm or tap a rhythm, however you want to play a rhythm, and the kids have to dictate or notate it, and they could do it on the iPad. So here would be ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. You could ask them to play it together. Now, I actually prefer to get a real instrument in their hand whenever possible. So I use the iPad for creating the rhythms, and then they have a rhythm instrument in their hand and they play it together. And then we could create new rhythms. You can do it for assessment that way or you can push the play button and hear it. If you have a student that has learning needs, um, then you could adapt this lesson by putting a set of headphones on the child and while everybody else is playing it, Independently of the sound, they could be playing their instrument by matching the sticks that they're hearing. So there's just some different options and different ways you can play it. Now, when you get to Presto, it's way too fast for kids to play, but every child wants to try it. So just go ahead and let them. And obviously, there's no way they can keep up with that. Just giggle, talk about how difficult that is, and go back to a tempo that they can handle. Not a problem. Alphabet game. I love the alphabet game because, once again, it's timed, so there's a challenge to it, a game component. But in order to beat that time, they have to grasp the concept that there's an alphabetical order. And the alphabetical order does not begin with the letter A at the very bottom, which we all know is very confusing to kids. By just simply playing the game, you don't have to talk about it. You just let them play, remember the stories, and if they get it incorrect, it just goes away. And it just keeps going away until they get the right note. All right, that's a little overview of the 